Well, good evening, everyone. Michael Soothing here. Mikey Kung Pao. No, wait. Michael Soothing. Just taking a little sip of water before we get started. Tonight, I want to show you my haul video. I know I've done a couple of these in the recent past uh, from Dollar General and Dollar Tree, but this is something different. This is a haul of Pasalu Bong gifts that came from the Philippines. And the reason Pasalubong, Pasalubong gifts came from the Philippines is that Joanne's daughter Maria came bearing gifts for all of us. And she gave me many gifts. I got some Christmas gifts from her too, but these are just the I've traveled type gifts she brought. She's very generous. So I want to show you what she brought. But first I'm going to show you this interesting creation that Joanne made. It's like looking into the inside of a geode where that would be the center of a crystal geode. I'm not sure what material she used, but it's great colors and she's never afraid to tackle a project. There's a bit of a 3D effect to it if you turn it back and forth. So I thought that was interesting. She put it on a big slab of um, wood there, natural wood. And uh, I don't know what the process is she used. All this pebbly stuff. But I think it's kind of cool. What's that sound like? Let me do some sound here. I hope that's not like a bad sound for you. Anyway, she made me that. I don't have my normal signature hat tonight because it's at the other house. So we're running back and forth between houses. And that's why I look like I'm living on a sampan right now. But anyway, I'm going to show you all the stuff that's in my Pasubulong Pasubulong goodie bag. First we have Vichy ribbed cracklings in old fashioned salt and vinegar. Are these like, these are like potato chips, but I'm not sure if that's what they are. Let's see. Old ribbed cracklings. What does it say about them? Ingredients. I can't quite read it. Maybe if I hold it up here close enough. No, I can't read it that way. Oh, yes, I can. Tapioca starch. Oh, these are made out of tapioca. Tapioca starch with coconut oil and other things. Interesting. So that's something I've never tried, and I'm going to try those for a snack tomorrow, perhaps. We have, up next, Ginger Bon. Ginger Bon, Ginger Sweet. These are really good for if you're having any kind of stomach 
trouble, you know, discomfort. In fact, I'm going to try one right now. As you can see, that bag got opened already, and I got into them. It looks like sort of a powdery. It's got a nice color. And these, why is somebody, don't people know when I'm making videos? Hmm. She says, I will. I will. I advised Chelsea because she has a bad cold to eat some soup before bed. And that was her cryptic reply. All right. Extra strong, it says. And indeed they are. I think my mouth is about to burn up. Haribo sour cubes. I don't think these came from the Philippines. So I'm going to put these aside. Because I think they inadvertently made their way into my bag and they weren't supposed to be there. I'm going to have another sip of this. Cold water. Now here we have One of my very favorites of all time, because last time Maria came, she brought me these and I raved about them. So she brought more. They're Choco Mallows. Choco Mallows. And you've probably seen a variation of these made by Nabisco Company here in the U.S. But these are made by a Filipino Nabisco called Fibisco. See there? Fibisco, not Nabisco. So these genuinely come from the Philippines. Oh, I like this. Manufactured and distributed by Come foods, like comfort, you know, come foods, comfort foods. And it says, they have an important warning on it. Keep away from direct sunlight, because of course they're going to melt. How they keep these fresh in the Philippines where it's so hot, I don't know. But anyway, these are manufactured by um, Commonwealth Foods. Oh, I guess Come Foods is the Commonwealth, not Comfort. Well, I'll just keep my own interpretation. I'm sure they won't mind. And uh, the distributor is Reliance Incorporated. Mandala, Mandala Ong City, product of the Philippines. I can't read everything very well today. By the way, there were several of these boxes in other people's Pasalubong booty halls. So what I did was I stole somebody else's 
and I have two boxes. Stole somebody else's Pasalu bomb and uh, opened one. I think we'll I think we'll indulge in one right now. So I can show you what the Choco Molo looks like. Individually wrapped in aluminum foil. They show you on the front cover, you know, what it theoretically looks like when you're making it. And that does look yummy, but um, let's open one up and indulge in just one little bite. One little bite couldn't hurt me, could it? How many grams of illicit substances could it have? Here is the Choco Malo after being unwrapped the wrapping tin foil and now it's got a gram wafer in it I think and marshmallow of course mm. I love these That's yummy. Choco. I almost dropped my Choco Malo on the floor. And since I'm AD, no, not ADHD, since I'm OCD about such things, I would not have been able to finish it. All right. What else? I have here Maria knows that I have to really limit my sugar intake. And so she got me a sweetener. It's a natural plant sweetener that looks like brown sugar but it's not it's called vacuum powder sweetener and it doesn't have sugar in it it is indeed as you can see a product of the Philippines and here it tells what's in it vacuum powder is derived from the yakon root or yakon powder yakon root it has been enjoyed as a valuable food health food uh, because it contains insulin a complete sugar something I can't read it all I would have to have a magnifying glass because this print is really tiny. So I'll have to get my little magnifier to read it. But I understand it has no sugar. And it's good if you're pre-diabetic. So that will work well for tea or for making cinnamon to put on toast. Things like that. Applesauce. What else do we have here? We have, <clears throat> because I like to make tuna sandwiches from time to time, we have here an easy open can of a Filipino brand San Marino tuna. There you go. There's Mr. Tuna right there swimming. And this one is a hot 
and spicy version, see? And of course, I like hot and spicy foods and females. Um, shh, don't tell Joanne I said that because I meant female, okay, only in the singular. All right, that way I won't get in trouble at all. Ingredients, tuna flakes, water, soy, uh, it's got a little bit of sugar, spices, seasonings, and bay leaf. So I'm going to see what, I have two cans, two cans here, so we will see what Filipino tuna might taste like. Is it any different from U.S. tuna? I don't know. Next up, uh, this is like a liquid version of the Yakon root sweetener. Good for diabetes, kidney issues, dieting, and safe sweetening. Yakon yeah, root like syrup that you can use to mix in tea or coffee or put on your pancakes or whatever. So I'm gonna try this and see if it really works. It would be great if it did act as a good sugar substitute. What next? Cloud Nine Classic. This is a little kind of snack candy protein bar. Do you know that Cloud Nine is a very famous surfing location in the Philippines, in the eastern Philippines, I think off the island of Mindanao, um, maybe east of Cugayan. Surfers from all over the world travel there to surf the big waves. I want to visit that area someday and many other parts of the Philippines. The beautiful parts. I'm not sure I want to visit Manila very much because I don't like crowds all that much, but, um, you know, I, I would love to go to the islands. I think Joanne told me there's something like 11,000 islands at low tide something like that. I should look it up. Or is it around 8,000? Somewhere in there, you know, give or take a few. Anyway, this Cloud Nine bar has luscious caramel, crunchy peanuts, and soft nougat in rich chocolate. So I'll enjoy this one day. When I need a high protein snack, it's made by Jack and Jill, who of course went up the hill. I think they were fetching something when they went up the hill. A pail of water, like that, you know, big pail. Jack fell down. <clears throat> I never understood why Jill came tumbling after, but that's just me. Maybe I'm not that smart to figure that one out. I'm going to put some of this back, but I still have a couple more Possum Vaughn gifts. I'm going to enjoy the last bite of this while I put these back. 
Hmm. I'd like to share it with you, but I can't. Maybe someday we'll all get together in the Philippines and have a party. Now, next up, I have this cool magnet that will attach to any metal surface, and it's got a Philippine Ocean abalone shell. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool because I happen to really like abalone shells. Now I've never eaten an abalone. The Philippine species looks quite a bit different than the ones we have off the west coast of the US. Ours are more of a rounded oval instead of an elongated oval. And we have less of these holes, these little holes in ours. We don't have that long chain of holes, quite so many. But this is a very beautiful uh, specimen. So I really appreciate that. Last up, but certainly not least, definitely not least, I have here a box. See this box? And it says, Cajal. I don't know what Cajal means, but I think it is a type of adult beverage made in the Philippines. It says here, it was commissioned by Malacanang to toast the centenary of Philippine independence in 1998. Oh, a very special beverage, it says. It comes from the water of the young coconut, known for its health-giving properties. I've been reading about the health properties of coconut, and there is evidence to suggest that coconut is a lot better for you than they used to believe. It can help with Alzheimer's, and diabetes and other things, heart disease. It's something or other protocol. Oh, vinification protocol was prescribed by the internationally acclaimed winemakers of the Institut Chenologique de Champagne of France. Wow, okay, so this isn't just some homemade brew. It's been authorized by master vintners from France, the Champagne region, for which Champagne is named. I'm going to pull this thing out and show you what it looks like. Look at that. A coconut thing with some kind of yummy liquor inside. Well, I'm very tempted to taste it now. I wonder how you open this thing. Lakong Haring Kahal. Produced in the Philippines from young coconut water. in collaboration with IOC, somebody or other. Contain
contains no detectable sulfites. Let me see if there's any special tool. Do not accept if the seal has been broken. Twist to open. The seal, let's all verify, has not been broken. Has it? No, it has not been broken. See? But I'm going to break it to see if we can taste this. Can, ooh, it's making noise. Did you hear it? It went whoosh. I should have held it close to the microphone. Ooh. It smells a little strong. I don't know if I'll like this or not. I'm just going to be crude and indigenous here and drink a little bit right from the bottle. Holy mackerel. That's going to take a little getting used to, is what I say. It's a bit vinegary. But it's different than anything I've tasted before. So that'll be very interesting. I'm going to sip some tomorrow while I'm watching, you know, football or something. Oh wait, I'm not interested in watching football anymore. I think my team is out of it. And I was sort of boycotting football for a while anyway. I was rooting for the Seattle Seahawks, being I'm Northwest now. And barring that, since they were defeated by the Dallas Cowboys, which was my second favorite team, I believe they lost this evening as well. Unless they made a very miraculous comeback in the final moments of the game, which I seriously doubt occurred. All right, so now that I had uh, several naughty uh, forays into sugar, chocolate, and an adult beverage, I'm going to have to have some water. And then I will say good evening to you and let you know that you really shouldn't ASMR and drive. I'll be back with some kind of video or other in the not distant future. Take care everyone. Bye bye for now.